Welcome to today's Informed Infrastructure Education webcast series presentation brought to you by Allplan. Michael Baker uses digital tools to streamline bridge design. I'm Todd Danielson, the Editorial Director of Informed Infrastructure. Today's featured speakers are Joe Brenner, PE, Senior Bridge Engineer and BIM Lead for Michael Baker International, and David Lawry, Business Development Manager, Infrastructure for Allplan. We'll get started in a few moments, but first let me cover a few housekeeping items. The materials in this webcast have been reviewed by our editorial staff. However, the views of the speakers and the organizations are their own, do not necessarily reflect those of V1 Media or its media outlet, Informed Infrastructure. If you have not done so already, please drop your pop-up blocker now. If you have any technical difficulties while viewing this webcast, please submit questions or a brief explanation of your technical problem using the Q&A box toward the bottom of your screen, and a representative will assist you. You also can submit questions to our speakers using the same Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. Submit your questions at any time. We'll try to answer as many as we can later in the webcast. You also can click on the Handouts tab and download the presentation slides and related materials. Informed Infrastructure encourages group learning for our events. If you're viewing the live webcast with the group on one registered person's computer, that person must complete and submit the multiple viewer registration form for the group in order for everyone to earn credit. To download the document, click on the multiple viewer registration form button toward the bottom of your screen. Submission instructions are on the form. At the end of the event, please fill out the webcast evaluation survey for submitting feedback. Your feedback is vital to help us improve our services and for more topics that interest you. Toward the end of the event, we will notify you when you should click on the certificate of completion button at the bottom of your screen to download the certificate. If you are watching the archived version of this webcast, you'll need to click on the Take Quiz button below this video. If you pass the quiz, you'll receive instructions on how to download your certificate for credit. Thank you for joining us. We'll start the webcast in just a few moments, but first enjoy a brief message from today's sponsor, Allplan. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation. I'm Todd Danielson, the Editorial Director of Informed Infrastructure, and I'll also be moderating the Q&A portion later in this webcast. First, I'd like to thank Allplan, and especially our featured speakers, Joe and David, for making this event possible. But now we're going to first start with a poll question before we, to get things started. Here's the question. How far along is your organization in transitioning to digital delivery and BIM? Please select all that apply. Your options are not started, planning slash research, training slash hiring, piloting in specific projects or offices, or widespread implementation. And that's obviously a wide range, and we, we often put these in the beginning of a presentation so that our speakers can kind of uh, get a chance to, to understand a little bit more about our audience, kind of where they're at, and maybe how they can tailor uh, their discussion. So as we're doing that, um, you know, give you a little time also, you can download your slides of, of the presentation anytime and uh, follow along later and ask questions. But we'll get to that. We'll see some results. Okay. Uh, we've got a pretty big, wide uh, 
uh, answers. Um, not surprisingly, the widespread implementation is, is on the lower end of things and not started is uh, on the, the highest end. And that's probably not too surprising, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and get started with our presentation. Now we're doing this one a little bit differently than normal. Um, I'm going to be moderating a discussion between Joe and David by asking a series of questions. So audience, don't forget that you can ask a question to our speakers at any time. Do not need to wait until the end to ask a question. Just type it in. We'll try and ask as many as we can uh, later on in the webcast. And let's get first to these questions. All right, Joe and David, you ready? Yep, ready to go. Okay, we're starting in BIM and digital delivery with the first question. What is digital delivery? Here, I'll, I'll take this one first here and, and give my perspective, and then David can, can chime in with, with his perspective, get a little discussion going here. Uh, but first, from, from our perspective, digital delivery, I'll, I'll give kind of the, the written definition first, if you will. But we look at it as a, a modernized approach to project delivery processes and contract documentation that incorporates structured digital data. So simply put, specifically for Bridge, it means that we are delivering our projects uh, and we're talking specifically now from design to construction um, with limited or no 2D paper or PDFs as our contract documentation. Okay? And, and I think most would, would agree and say that when we talk about specifically digital delivery, it includes at least in part um, of that digital model, part of that digital model is the legal document for that bid phase and that bid process. Um, I think Joe's covered the bases pretty well. Uh, I'll add that we, we hear a lot of talk about the CAD transition back in the 80s is kind of the model here for transitioning when we transitioned from hand-drawn paper plans to CAD. Um, but when we talk about that, we're still essentially talking about lines on paper, um, digital paper perhaps, but also something that can be printed, uh, conveys the same info in the same way as a hand-drawn plan set. Um, digital delivery, we're talking about changing things up considerably. Yeah, it's overwhelmingly likely there's still going to be some 2D views. We're going to generate some annotated sheets. There are going to be a lot of standard details, some of them 2D. Um, but a lot of information that's currently coming on paper is now going to be embedded data in a digital model, perhaps a 2D model, perhaps a 3D model. Um, but either way, it's going to be a very big shift from the way that we did this for the last 30 years and really for the, the 100 years prior. 